Coach, a lot to catch up on here. Your uh, latest uh, meet was the Missouri Stampede, right? Am I saying it the right way? Yeah, Missouri Southern Stampede. Southern. Yeah. Well, let's talk about that first, then we'll go back to your home meet. But how about last weekend? That's a big meet. It is big meet. Um, it's the 27th annual, so it's been getting bigger every year. Uh, it's something to see if you've never been down there to witness the start line. It literally looks like a stampede. Is that right? It's coming at you. But uh, very cool race, fast course, uh, a lot of great competition. So it's a great opportunity for us to go down and uh, run fast and be competitive. How many schools do you even know? There were 23 schools altogether, including a couple of D1s thrown into the mix there uh, with uh, Missouri State and uh, Arkansas both showing up to this meet. So. Good competition. Yeah, great competition for uh, for both teams. So. How'd we do? Uh, ladies finished 11th out of the D2 schools, uh, so pretty solid showing, uh, which D2 schools made up the majority of the competition there. And then uh, the men didn't actually race full squad, so uh, didn't have a team finish, but uh, some solid individual performances on the men's side. Yeah. Well, I know you've got, and you have to because you've got so many athletes, but yeah. tell us about to some of those individuals, if you would. Well, first off, I mean, our number one on the ladies' side, Jaden Aji, freshman, coming in and um, just really setting the tone for a great season ahead. She actually raced our home meet unattached due to some paperwork issues, their eligibility, uh, just wanted to be safe with that, um, but was able to put on the jewel jersey this week and did it in extraordinary fashion, finishing with an almost two-minute PR over her previous best 5K on a cross-country <laughs> nice. course. So. Uh, if you don't know running, she ran 6.13 pace for 3.1 miles, uh, which is pretty fast for a young lady sure. coming in for her first college cross-country race. Um, and then we also had a returner, Catherine Laughlin, coming right behind her. Uh, about 30 seconds off of PR. This time of the season, we're still doing quite a bit of heavy training, and so uh, we were really pleased with that next group that really finished in a pack right behind Jaden was Catherine Laughlin from the Northland area here. Lizzie Stevenson came in right after her. She's a returner. She's actually a junior, and this is her first race of the season. Um, she stayed out of our home meet just due to some uh, kind of aches and pains. We wanted to be careful early on. Uh, and then Danny Regnier um, came in right behind Lizzie. So great pack running there. And if you don't know anything about cross country, it's a team score based off your top five runners. Um, and so the closest you can have your five to your one, the better off you usually are. And so our split was really good. And um, those three finished I essentially right together and then bringing up our fifth spot fifth scoring spot was Alexis Maharis another freshman from the Wichita area um, and so all of those ladies were about a minute off of their PR um, we did have another runner out there Delaney Mayo from Oklahoma she's never raced a 5k on a cross-country course before mm. um, and she did a fantastic job hanging with the group in the stampede and got pulled to a fast time okay. so yeah. but on the men's side any outstanding individuals yeah I mean we're really pleased with both men kind of ran um, above our expectations even and Denver having a 32nd personal best all-time personal best on that course and Jonathan has not really raced many 8k's so he's uh, kind of figuring that out and and ran even better than we expected and so I think we're really looking forward to seeing what those two do the rest of the season you mentioned you mentioned freshmen, and uh, my my thought yeah. was in a lot of college sports you can't have freshmen come out and be competitive varsity yeah, athletes until they get True in cross country, or can you come out and be a, an impactful runner? I think it's uh, it's still difficult to do in cross country. You see it done maybe more often than some of the other sports, but uh, the race distances go up from high school to college. We did run a 5K on the women's side this week. Um, but depending on what state you're from, some of the ladies may have not run that before. Um, and then the conference championships will be a six kilometer race. Um, so their race distance goes up. It's a little bit different uh, feel with how deep the teams are and there's just a lot more runners at the given pace. I think in high school it gets a little more spread out. So to come out and compete the way we did uh, with our young squad on the ladies side, I'm really proud of them and they did a good job just racing. Um, with the men, they go up to an 8K uh, from high school to college. They add three kilometers to their race. Wow. So. Um, that's a little bit tougher to see the freshmen do well there, but it, it can be done, but just a little bit more rare. Okay. Two weeks ago, you hosted your own cross-country meet. Yeah. Uh, let's uh, talk a little bit about that. How did that go? New location, correct? Yeah, correct. It's, uh, it's out at Fountain Bluff Park now, um, and it's really nice land. It's very spectator-friendly. Um, 
including the parking situation mm-hmm. being a lot better than parking in that field that uh, we had to have mowed. But uh, there was an actual parking lot. Spectators could see virtually the entire race. We had to reroute the course a little bit due to the uh, nine inches of rain <laughs> received that wow. week. Yeah. But uh, we we had a great race. It was just a way for our kids to get out there after working hard for a couple of weeks to scratch a little bit of a competitive itch and uh, get racing. How did we do there? Uh, we, we did well. We finished about where we thought we would. Um, the men was essentially a duel between Park and Jewel, and again, we didn't have our full team. Uh, so um, just a good way to get out and race a little bit. We're not so concerned about uh, placing at that time of the season, but just kind of seeing how the kids look and uh, and how they're they're responding to some of the training that we're putting them through right now um, and those race distances were actually a little bit shorter being the first meet of the year we just wanted to keep it um, a little bit of a shorter race and uh, like I said just get competitive and race a little bit. Uh, on a different topic Tom Eisenhower was named associate athletic director this yeah. summer he's been the head uh, track and field and cross country coach and you've been the assistant where does that put you uh, how do the responsibilities and division of duties uh, what's, what's that right now? So right now Tom is still uh, running the cross country program through the end of the season. I'm helping out, um, but I've taken over all the track and field responsibilities and have been named interim head track and field coach. Um, and so I know there's a search going on for that. And uh, um, Tom is is balancing coaching cross country and the, the duties right. associated with associate AD right now. So I know he's running around quite a bit, um, but we're able to do what we need to do, and we have just phenomenal athletes that make it easy to have that kind of transition and um, track and field has already gotten underway with some of our fall training and um, that's a fantastic group too I'll take a moment here to shamelessly plug sure. the track team no, please uh, do. but uh, they're working hard right now in some hot days and uh, I think we have some big things coming our way on the track this year as well back to cross country when do you compete again our next race is going to be actually this Friday so we're, we're coming back on a pretty short turnaround that's at Emporia State um, which is where I received my master's degree so mm-hmm. it's good to go down there and kind of see how we match up against the old uh, crew and uh, I know that course pretty well having painted the lines on it a few times so um, I think that that could be an advantage for us I don't know uh, but I, I'm really excited to see what the ladies do I think this fits kind of their style of running pretty well there's usually quite a few teams out there it's a it's an evening meet so maybe we'll catch a cooler day and uh, and see how it goes. Coach Mistel thank you very much. Yeah, thanks Rick.